This is Waxing with Donisha, and I ain't come to play. I be waxing every day. Different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, Waxer, Waxer Squad. What up, you guys? How's everybody doing this beautiful Friday? And the comment of the day goes to Tammy Tam Cali style. She says, you look beautiful in your African outfit. Food was on point. Them buffets where you go to just tear some food up. Love this video, sis. Hope you have a blessed week. Thank you so much, Tammy. Y'all, and it looks like she has a channel as well. So go hit her up, you guys. Thank you so much, Tammy, for the love and support. I'll check you later. And the final comment of the day goes to Donna's Dinner Time. Looks like she has a channel too, y'all. Hey, love, I'm a new subby from D's Delicious Bites. I hit the bell also. Thank you so much, Donna, for the support. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for showing up and becoming a new subby. I'll catch you later. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you would do me a favor and be so kind to click on that subscribe button and become a part of the Wax Subscribe because we be lit over here, okay? If you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back. I truly do appreciate you guys. Today, y'all, we got some macaroni and cheese, and this is the food that I grew up with, okay? Macaroni and cheese, is this is something called basically like seafood. I call it seafood. <laughs> seafood mashed potatoes because I took my leftover seafood boil my shrimp and clams and mix it up I don't know that might be nasty to some people but anyway it's good to me and then I got some fried pork chops right here you guys so let's get in a quick moment of prayer and we're gonna get started dear heavenly father we thank you so much for blessing us we thank you so much for this day we ask that you bless this food that it may be nourishing to our bodies we ask that you provide for those that are less fortunate and um Lead them something to eat if they have nothing to eat. We also ask that you take out all the impurities in this food and make it nourishing to our bodies. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So, how y'all doing? If you notice, I'm not as loud because I literally just put my daughter to sleep 30 minutes ago. And I got to pick up my son in a little bit. So, I don't want to be too loud because I don't want to wake my daughter up. So, I'm not as loud. But how y'all doing? Let's get into the first bite here. So the mashed potatoes look pretty good, huh? Mmm. Them good. Them are really good. Mmm. They're creamy. I have my window open. So if you hear a little noise, I apologize about that. Some veggies. Mmm. I put some ch chicken broth. I'm noticing I'm putting chicken broth in everything lately. <laughs> I put some chicken broth in the vegetables and in the mashed potatoes. And guess what, y'all? These are also leftover. Oh, I should do a picture first, huh? For my Facebook. And y'all following me on Instagram and Facebook, I post pictures there of what I'm eating all the time. So if you're not following me, you need to go on down in the description box below right now. Go ahead. Just look in it right now. Then after this video, go on over and subscribe to my, not subscribe, sorry. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Mm-hmm. That way you can see what I'm doing in everyday life. Give me a second, y'all. I'm getting ready to take a picture of this, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I'm back. So, all right. Let's get started. Mm-hmm. Strap. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the potatoes, like I was saying, is also some from the from the seafood boil. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I want to get I want to get into a quick small story time, and y'all know how I get ever so often. Y'all know every so often I got something to say. <laughs> but it's nothing bad. So when I was in first grade, yes, I remember when I was in first grade. 
yeah, when I was in first grade, mm, 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 mm. to Rockford, I had a crush on this boy. He was so cute to me. Light skin it. All the girls liked him. And it was my first day at the school. So I really didn't know the popular kids or whatever. And yes, they had popular kids in first grade. It's crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. So the first day, I was very cute because my mom, she put me in some cute clothes. She did my hair. But she put a fake ponytail in it. Because when I was younger, my mom used to put perms in my hair from the time I can remember. So the perms never allowed my hair to be healthy and strong so it would break off. So she she would put weave in it. Sorry, y'all. She would put weave in it. So I'm on the playground and me, I play with anybody and everybody. So I noticed the boy, so I'm playing with him. We playing tag all of a sudden. Um, before I knew it, tag turned into us rolling on the ground fighting. Like, literally swinging on each other. Don't know how it happened. A, a plane turned into a, a fight. Um, I, I guess that maybe I was playing too aggressive for a girl. Maybe he thought. You know, you guys know the funny thing? I still remember his name. His name was Michael. That's how bad of a crush I had on this little boy. <laughs> it was that bad. So, anyway, I remember us playing tag, and then he went off to do something else. All of a sudden, I ran up behind him and pushed him. You know, just play fighting, I guess. He turns around, pushes me back, and then well, before I know it, we on the, we rolling on the ground. All of a sudden, the bell rings. He gets up, I get up. I see a huge crowd standing over on the side, circling, circled around something, looking down on the ground. And I hear people saying, what is it? All of a sudden, something told me to feel on the top of my head. I, girl, I feel on the top of my head. My ponytail is gone. <laughs> Pull it out. I go look on the ground. Ponytail laying dead on the ground. People are staring at me. This was so embarrassing. I picked my ponytail up, put it in my head, back in my head, while people are staring and going inside. I'm happy recess is over. I don't know. Don't ask me how I knew how to put the ponytail back in my head, but I knew how. Child, I put that ponytail back in my head, tied it back. <laughs> and went on about my business. From that day forward, me and that boy fought. Not like physically fought, but we had a we had a crush on each other. But from then that from that day forward, I was no longer considered popular because of my fake hair. Um my repu I guess you could say my reputation had semi got destroyed before it was even started. Because I got in a fight with him. And then they found out I had fake hair. So. But it didn't. Phase me or so I thought. 
But I always caught him looking at me. He always would play fight with me, flirt with me. So I always knew in the back of my head somewhere he liked me. Deep down side, he liked me. It never went any further than that. Obviously, I was in first grade. But I'm telling you guys this story because that was the first experience I remember in life where I started to develop a complex about myself. Sometimes you can go through something in your childhood that will affect you negatively mentally. It traumatizes you internally, mentally. And because it hurts so bad in that moment, you want to forget about it. So you subconsciously forget about what you've gone through in that moment and you just move through life and you don't realize that that, because you haven't dealt with it, you haven't dealt with that traumatic issue, it's still affecting you. And you don't realize that it's affecting you. It just shows up in your behavior it, later on in life. It shows up in the men that, you, the kind of men that you pick. It shows up in the kind of um, behaviors that you have. It shows up in your habits, you know, the bad habits that you have. And you don't realize it as an adult because you've suppressed it so much as a child that you no longer realize that you act in a certain kind of way. You don't realize how you got to where you are. And I just want to say that because me and my husband were out, went out um, last weekend. And there was this lady who I was talking to outside. And she was so pretty. But she didn't see her beauty. And I'm saying, I'm bringing this up again because I notice it a lot. I notice it so much where I'll give somebody a compliment or they'll give me a compliment and then they'll downplay or downgrade themselves. And it's, ma it's mainly women. And on the surface, it doesn't seem like it seems harmless. But internally and mentally, it's bigger than that. Look at me. Look at me. I see you. Yes, you. I see you. You always downing yourself. And you don't even see that you're downing yourself. You don't even see it. Start to pay attention to what you say. To the things that you say about yourself. You are abusing yourself and you don't even know it. But I want you to know something. I want you to know that big sis understands. Or, or, or I could be your big sis, little sis, cousin. Whatever you want me to be. I understand. Because it would, cause that's how I used to think about myself. But until you deal with the way, with what happened to you, until you go back to the past and deal with it, you will never be, be able to heal. You will always walk around with a complex, thinking somehow that other people are better than you. Thinking that you have to put on makeup to look beautiful on camera. I'm saying this because I care about you, because you are my sister, and I want you to embrace every flaw. I want you to embrace every complex, every traumatic thing that's ever happened to you. I want you to one day be able to embrace it, accept it for what it is or for what it ain't, allow God to heal the hurt and the pain you possess on the inside and move, move past it, move past it. And enjoy the full embodiment of who you was created to be. 
enjoy the full embodiment of the and, and the sculpting and, and the, the craft and the sculpting of your identity of who you are enjoy every curve enjoy every angle enjoy every pig every shade of pigmentation yes and i want you to know that it's possible because i never thought it was possible until God showed me that it's possible. It's possible for me to get on this camera and not have a lick on a lick of makeup on and or eyebrows and be confident. To be told that black is ugly. That black is ugly. That dark skinned is ugly. But still get on this camera. And look fearless to thousands. You don't do that unless you know who you are. You don't do that unless you're comfortable with who you are. I know what people say. What people say it takes to make it big on YouTube. That you got to put on makeup. That you got to look a certain way. That you got to have a certain kind of home. Or whatever. To make it to a million subscribers. You got to look a certain way. You got to dress a certain type of way. You got to act a certain kind of way. Hmm. God has freed me from them stereotypes. He's freed me from them. I don't have to be the beauty queen. To make it big on face on YouTube or any social media for that for that matter. I don't have to have a certain economic socioeconomic background to make it big on YouTube. I don't have to be a certain pigmentation to make it big on YouTube. I don't have to be a beauty queen. I don't have to wear makeup to make it big on YouTube. And you might say that the odds are against me because of what you see. <laughs> but let me tell you how I know that what I'm saying is the truth. Because of who I serve. See, Facebook stereotypes can't come in between what, what the can't cannot. The Facebook's stereotypes cannot come in between the plans that God has for me, the plans that God has for you, the blessings that he has for you. Nothing can come in between it. So all of a sudden, you'll see yourself beating the odds. You'll see yourself, the black sheep, defying the odds, living and being and moving and breathing and doing things that nobody ever thought that you could do. Because of your socioeconomic background, because of your skin color, because of your persona, because of your character, all of a sudden you'll be uh, you'll be defying those odds. You make people embrace you. You hear me? By refusing to change, by refusing to allow them to shape and mold you into something that you're not supposed to be, you make them accept you. Because they have two options. They can accept you or walk away. But don't you change. Be who you are supposed to be and don't worry about anything else. I want you to know that. Yeah, I want you to know that. Be who you're supposed to be. Y'all can't. Yeah, I'll see Because there's too many copycats out here. There's no more room for any more copycats. You got to be you. Because there's something beautiful in who God created you to be. And it wouldn't be so if you weren't here. Out of all those millions and billions of sperms, you made it. So you are special. Embrace it. 
and begin to deal with the pain that you feel and that you go through and that you're facing. You can't run from it. You can't go over it. You can't go under it. You can't go around it. You can't hide behind it. You got to walk through it. And I've been through so much in life, so much, but I've always walked through my pain. That's why I can sit here before you on TV eating unapologetically, eating the way I want to eat with no makeup on, with naps hanging off the side of my head and embrace who I am with glasses on. I mean, there's so many stereotypes right now. And I'm not the ghetto ratchet girl from the hood either. I'm very smart, very educated. Got a college background. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not any stereotype. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to be anybody's stereotype. I'm going to be who God created me to be. You get what I'm saying? So I want you to be who God created you to be. And you can only do that by going from, by moving backwards. Beginning to become self aware of what comes out your mouth when you disrespect yourself beginning to become self-aware of what you say to yourself what you say to yourself inside mentally you got to become aware of that and you got to know that you're tearing yourself down that you're not helping because if you can't get past that you can't get to where you you cannot get to where you're supposed to be and be happy you may be able to accomplish some things you may be able to be successful but there's millionaires blowing their brains out every day. I'm trying to teach you how to be happy and successful. Because I love you. Why? Not because I think I'm better than you, but because I love you. And that's my mission in life. That's who I was created to be. So the few that this video is supposed to reach, it's going to reach. And the few that are supposed to stay and make it to this to the end... They're going to make it. I want to let y'all know that I love you. Care about you very much. So, getting ready to end this out. Ow, 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 ow. You know when the crust scrapes the inside of your esophagus? Yeah, that just happened. So, if you made it to the end of this video, right now in the comments, hashtag self-love. You hear me? Because I want you to love who you are, baby. I want you to love who you are. So, hashtag self-love if you made it to the end of this video. Share this video, y'all, with somebody that you think it will help. Somebody you think... Um, think it will, you know, help overcome something. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what's something that you struggled with as a child. Because guess what? It's one thing to know it, but it's another thing to take an action, a, action, a, a faith action, and actually write it down. Because then it'll begin to work. God will begin to, you'll begin to realize and recognize. And he'll bring self-awareness to you. When you can openly, when you begin to openly and meditate and think on some things. So put something down in the comment. Put one thing down in the comment you struggle with growing up. And I guarantee you, if you put that down in the comment section below, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that you'll feel a little bit better about who you are. And you'll embrace yourself a little bit more. I guarantee you. I promise you, you will. Because that's you going through it. I love y'all so much, Waxer Squad. If you're new here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. You guys, give this video a thumbs up if I did good with this food and you enjoyed the conversation. Share this video, okay? I'll see you guys on another video. I love you so, so, so much, Waxer Squad. Stay safe, stay blessed. Until next time, peace out.